Hello and good morning from Chesterton World of Adventure Resort. Today I'm here for the first time in five months since the November Pass Holder event. Just check out more updates on the World of Jumanji opening in just three weeks time. And of course, take a look at the site of the brand new water park, Country Park, next year. Come on in. So here we are now in Mexicana. Heading on to Rattlesnake on a five minute queue time. have it. Rattlesnake truly is the smoothest ride on park. Just such a silky, silky smooth and enjoyable experience there on Rattlesnake. Anyway, on to new food outlets here at Chesterton with brand new Taco Taro outlet. Same as I've got at Thor Park, uh, just opening now. There we have it, new Taco Taro. Um, just opening here now at Chessington. Crop Drop has now just opened, but we're going to head over to Dragon's Fury. We get a ride on that, hopefully get a look out over the new Jumanji construction site. Again, opening in three weeks on the 15th of May. And I'll be here for that, bring you a vlog of the opening day. Really exciting time says. So excited for that. So stay tuned for that one. And just over now, here in the Land of the Dragons, just looking at this lovely, fresh new repaint on Dragon's Fury here. They do have have a brand new mason shed new for this season but yeah take this lovely new fresh paint job for the 2023 season it's a quick look here at the brand new maker's shed for this year you can see they have themed it a little bit on the side there there we go the brand new maker's shed for this year that is the most i've ever spun on dragon's fury in my life honest to god but that was such a great vantage point to see the amazing how amazing it is here in the War of Jumanji. Honestly, the theming, it just looks absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to be here this time in three weeks to see it opening and to get on Mandrel Mayhem. If we can see its essence there, that'd be even better, but I'm gonna show you now the world of Jumanji here at Chessington. It is honestly incredible. The theming is out of this world. It's just such a grand area. It's from the from the Jaguar head to everything. It's it, it's amazing, and I cannot wait to experience it in three weeks' time. So here you can see you've got the Jaguar shrine over there in the distance. There, I haven't been here since they finished track. When I was here five months ago, there was nothing here really. Uh, the, the first piece of the track had just arrived on site. But now look at this. The first inversion here at Chessington on this B&M shuttle launched wing coaster up to this Jaguar Shrine. Here it is, the entrance of the world's first Jumanji themed area. Look at that. So over there, the Jaguar Shrine. Again, on this B&M shuttle launched wing coaster. Another world first for Boligo Mavlar. So down here, you can see the station. Hope you get a glimpse at the Mandrel trains. Very muddy over here. It's good to see they've got some of the landscaping going in. So that there is Mamba Strike, uh, one of the two accompanying flat rides for the area, and just over there you've got Ostrich Stampede. But yeah, there's a look at the station for the brand new coaster and themed area. Comes Cheston on the 15th of May. Fantastic views there of the world Jumanji. Just heading down uh, into, into the wild woods get on the Gruffalo and hopefully take a flight with the Vampire. And here we go now, on the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. Oh, 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 oh. 
Buffalo really is such a great immersive experience with the scent parks and the amazing theming in there. Now hoping to get on a ride on the Vampire. advertised 20 minute queue time here on the Vampire. So let's go take a flight. One word, painful. That 33 year old aerodynamic suspended coaster. Yeah, wasn't great. Anyway, heading on now for some more rides. Home to get on Zufari to have a look at the new construction site of the water park open next year around by the hotel here at Chessington. Just here now in the Adventure Point shop. Take a look at the brand new merch for the world of Jumanji. Got some nice hoodies just here in black. And also some t-shirts there. I believe these are the adult sizes here and the children's ones there. And they've got these very nice fleece gilets. Which I may have to get one of those for myself to cop one of those. But there's a navy and also a lighter blue just there as well. Also got these very nice mugs with a mamba on there, keeping in with the theming of the area, as well as these quality Jumanji branded journals just here as well. They also, very excitingly, have these Jumanji board games just here. I assume that's more of the original Jumanji game um, from the original film with Robin Williams as well as these pens here with Jumanji on them just there uh, you've got a mamba on there and a mandrill and of course the ostriches and these sort of matte branded bottles as well just here not forgetting these very friendly looking mandrills oh just look there the brand new merch available for the world Jumanji just heading in now to the Wanyama Reserve. Take a ride on Zufari into Africa and take a look at the new construction site of the brand new water park, as I've mentioned, coming to the hotel next year. Now the park has actually recently changed the times on their rides. So Wild Asia there, Tiger Rock and Zufari are now opening from 10 a.m. but are closing a little bit earlier. They used to open from 12 and then be open until close. They now change that so it's open from rope drop until 3.30. And here we go now on Safari ride into Africa. Very bumpy ride here today. Home to lots of wildlife. And of course show you the site of the here, brand new water park. Looking just over there. Now, you can see just, just around the side there, some the site there of the new water park. The opening next year. The access from both hotels here to the Gracie that all the effects were working there on Zufari in the cave, including the waterfalls and the lighting, just makes for a far better experience when all aspects are working on that. Now heading over to Tomb Blaster to take a ride on there, because I understand there was some maintenance taking place over the winter, so looking forward to seeing that, because I noticed in November it wasn't a bit tired, a lot of things weren't working, and it really did need a bit, bit of an update. So looking forward to heading over there now, taking a ride on that and just seeing how fresh it's looking. So great ride there on Tomb Blaster. Great to see all the effects working again and no sort of faults in the operations. But yeah, walk on cue for that one. I know CCS scaffolding were in there over the winter just doing some maintenance on it. So yeah, that's great to see. Anyway, just heading on to, on to Tiger Rock now. Let's get a ride on there and get a bit wet. It's all go here at the Jumanji construction site. Lots of work taking place and get ready for the big day. So as you can see, the Scorpion Express is still closed. And it's now actually been postponed uh, to open until late June now, I believe. Um, it is just disappointing. I'm not quite sure what they're doing to it, because it has been about uh, a year now since it was last open. 
and I did see the other day that the trains have moved. Oh, there, there it is now. See, the train is back on the track because I know that it was sitting over in the far corner a little while ago with just sort of the uh, track uh, element on there and not the actual train sitting on there. I'm not sure if it's a train refit or what's going on with that one. But yeah, Scorpion Express is set to open at the end of June, so I'll be back then to give it a ride once again. Just getting a closer look now at Scorpion Express. As I mentioned, the trains are just sitting in the station there. It's a shame, really. It's a great ride, this. The one been open for, I'm, I'm sure it's about a year now it's been closed for, but there we go. Opening in June, as I mentioned. Heading back now for another ride on Rattlesnake. Uh, it is a fairly quiet day today. It's not as quiet as I expected with it being off peak uh, and a Monday. But yeah, still some fairly quiet rides, but still some unavailability around. But yeah, turn for us next for another ride on there. So this is my first ever ride there on um, River Raft. Um, never again. Never again. Um, for reference, um, yeah. And my shoes are soaked. I mean, when I tell you that it was a puddle in the boat, it was a puddle. Like, I no, I don't even describe it as a monsoon in the boat. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty wet in fairness. <laughs> Fun. Anyway, uh, gonna get some more rides now. Tiger Rock is still not open. Uh, there are some boats stuck on the lift hill and on the drop, so doesn't look promising for that one. But yeah, um, we lapped Rat Rat Snake about four times. Um, but yeah, some more rides now. Uh, hopefully, try to drive a bit. But yeah, fun times. Just on the way over to Wildwood, notice that uh, Dragon's Fury, a very short queue. We'll jump on here, get another quick ride on Dragon's Fury, and head over to Wildwood again to get back to the Gruffalo and Vampire. Just our final ride of the day there on the Vampire. Just as it reopened up, being closed for a little while. But yeah, had a really great day today. The rain has held off because I know there was some forecast for around about now, and I think the clouds just coming over now. But yeah, great day, got a few rides. Have a little bit busier than I expected, but yeah. Fantastic to see the progress on the world Jumanji. I look forward to coming to the opening in just three weeks' time. And I'll be bringing you along with me for the opening, so I really look forward to that. But yeah, just gonna have a wander around now, have a look at the shops, and then be leaving. So that brings us to the end of our day here at Justin World of Adventures. It's been a great day, so excited to see the progress here at the world Jumanji. As I said, we'll be back in three weeks for the opening. And also, We've just seen ostrich stampede testing. So, what's that about that? Unfortunately, no magic my hand today. There we go. We'll see you all on Friday. We're at Thor Park. Just check out some more updates there. Yeah. See you all next time, guys. Bye for now.